right now, one of the things that Tilcom told us that first year before Twitter, before social media, before any of that, when we were just talking to him, he said, Earth is in protected planet status. And I went, oh yeah? We're, we're, we're protected? And he said, yes. Um, we try very hard to make sure that the star nations that come to Earth aren't here to do something that's wrong-minded, like enslave you or um, do genetics on you that the Federation says uh-uh to, or to destroy things that you have built or to murder you. None of those things are being permitted. You are being, you are in protected planet status because uh, 5,000 ish years ago plus, five to 6,000 years ago, there were two star nations here on Earth who came into conflict with each other. They were the star nation that have the elongated skulls and come from the Orion constellation area on a number of worlds. They've explored that area very extensively and colonized a lot of it. And now, so what's, what, who are they? These are the Ea, E-A. And when I asked about the Ea and the conflict, uh, Tilcom said there were two different groups of Ea on planet helping or supposed to be helping the local population. One was in the Middle East and one was in the uh, high mountains of Peru. Okay. And those groups of Ia were each from very separate worlds and had very separate cultures, but they looked similar because they had the elongated skulls, they were very tall, and they had, I think, the double rows of teeth, some of them. Hmm. All right. Were they also in Egypt? Yes. That, that'd be the Middle East group. Okay. All right. So, so that's why you see the elongated skull folks in the hieroglyphs. That's why you find the elongated skull. Wasn't just a hat. Near Paracas in Peru. And they have a museum there that, that can show, show you what they look like. The two groups had a conflict. The group in the Middle East area started doing genetics on Earth humans so that they were bred to be better gold miners and go underground and retrieve gold for that group of Ia. That group in the Middle East was led by a woman. All right. The group in Peru went, wait, you're not supposed to be doing that kind of breeding for your own profit. That's just, no. And you, you gotta stop now or we're gonna have to take this up a notch to the next level. And the gal that was running the Middle East groups um, essentially said, try it. There's nobody who cares enough about this planet that they're going to come bother to stop us from doing this. And the group in Peru essentially sent two brothers who to try and, and persuade the gal, and they were met with a sky battle. Was that Enki and I, Enil? I, I don't think that I can call them Enki and Enil because I'm not quite sure that that would be accurate. I would have to go back to that story. Okay. All I can tell you is the leader of the group in the Middle East, that gal, um, when the two brothers tried to come to persuade her to stop doing what she was doing, met their ships in the sky and battle over Earth ensued. And so you had um, two different star nations going at it in our own atmosphere and chasing each other all around the planet. You see areas where there's evidence of what looks like a nuclear explosion that went off. You see areas where the land looks strafed. 
in the Middle East, in Africa, in um, down here in the desert southwest. Um, I don't know about Peru or the area in South America. I'd have to look. But I can tell you that if you look at Australia, there's also evidence of battle from the air and scorching of the earth there. And so destruction and loss of life happened. When the news of that got back to the Federation, they sent a representative in a ship that was not small to collect all of the EA of both groups and essentially evict them all simultaneously off world. Huh. And they were banned from coming back until their holy people petitioned the Federation to arrive to attend Earth's official first contact when it happened. Hmm. And so they, after the, it took the Federation discussion to say, are they ready to come back and how do we know and who do we accept back? That was not a short process. But what we do know via Trudy is that they arrived in June of 2017. And the minute I remember the that announcement arrived in the solar system. Yeah. Drudy immediately contacted me, and she was as serious as I have ever heard her. She said, Sue, we need to put out a message, and you need to say it exactly this way. And I said, sure, Drudy, what's going on? Here is the message, and she, you can go back to the Twitter archives. And I remember it. it very well that but day. Yeah. Essentially, it was, I am to tell you that the Ia have arrived within the system meaning the EA ships with their holy representatives had arrived in our solar system. And the Federation required that all of the other star nations on the planet and all of the star nations within our system and everybody who meets on the moon all get informed. And so informing some of those nations, but it was, um, when Judy put it out, I didn't know if she said it on Twitter that way because there are other Star Nation people that follow the Sandia account on Twitter, mm. or if it was another reason. But she was very serious about it, very short, and it was one sentence, and that was about it. Yeah, it was, it was a public announcement. It was an official announcement. Yes. That the EO. They had never done arrived. that before. Yeah. When, when Drudy said, I need to make an official announcement, I was floored. I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And when it came out that it was about the EA, I knew about the conflict at that point in time, and I went, the EA are back? After 5,000 years, the EA are back in our solar system? Is that safe? Is that going to be okay? I mean, they didn't exactly leave out a good note. Mm -hmm. And the word currently from the Federation is their holy people are minding their manners very well. They're minding their P's and Q's. They are being very respectful and um, there will be no EA genetics work on this planet. There just won't be. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what we know about the EA, about conflict, and about uh, what happened, mm -hmm. as, as, as brief as that is.